Hey guys, how you doing? Today we're going to test the Dust Deputy Cyclone for shop vac uh, in different positions. We're going to test it sideways, we're going to test it at 45 degrees, and we're going to test it sitting straight up and down the way that uh, it's recommended just to see how it will perform. Uh, a friend of mine asked whether people thought it would work on its side. Most people seem to think it will not. I think it will not. I think what's going to happen is it's going to build up right here on the side until there's no more suction going down the cyclone. Um, but we're going to see what happens. All right, I'm going to start with a nice big pile of sawdust that I just dumped out of the shop vac. We're starting with an empty bucket. This is a two and a half gallon bucket from my pool chemicals. I like it because it has a screw top lid that locks with a ratchet. So I think it gives a pretty good seal um, and it's not going to be as much of a hassle to open as it would with a regular uh, pry open type lid. Uh, we're starting with a clean used filter. Um, I've done a pretty thorough job of cleaning out the dust. There's a couple of particles here and there, but for the most part it's clean. We've got a nice pile of sawdust here and we have an empty shop. So let's see what happens. All right, the first thing we're going to look at is how much dust went into the shop vac. And as you can see, it is almost none at all. Uh, the filter has remained perfectly clean. I'd say that's a pretty good test of how this thing is supposed to perform. Let me unscrew this lid. It has an almost full bucket of sawdust and nothing in the shop vac. That's a pretty good test. We're going back to an empty bucket again. Put the lid back on. Empty shop vac once again. Okay, so for this test, we're going to turn the cyclone and hold it at about 45 degrees. Here we go. All right, the first thing we're going to look at is how much went into the shop vac. <laughs> I would say significantly more sawdust in the shop vac than what we had when the cyclone was upright. Let's check the bucket. Still a fair amount in the bucket, but probably, I don't know, maybe a little more than half of what we had when the cyclone was vertical. So next we're going to try it on its side. I would also like to note that we now have a significant amount of dust starting to build up in the filter after that second test, uh, which is really what you're trying to get away from by using the cyclone. All right, the bucket and the cyclone are now sitting at about 90 degrees. So here we go.
right, the first thing we're going to look at is how much went into the shop bag. Right? <laughs> I would say almost all of it. Now let's have a look at the bucket. <laughs> almost nothing in the bucket. So at first I thought that it was actually working. Um, you could see that it was getting clogged as it would go around. And then if I pulled the hose away from the sawdust pile, it would clear the clog and it would start spinning around again. So I thought as long as you went slow or if you were just vacuuming light dust, like sanding dust, um, that it would work. But it appears that you lose all the efficiency of what a cyclone is supposed to do. You end up with a full shop vac and a full filter and nothing in the bucket. So I think we've shown that while you can get some functionality out of it if it's tilted at maybe a 45 degree angle. The best route is to have it sitting vertical like this. All right, I've done about 12 takes now where I say thanks for watching. And I don't know why that's so complicated. Thanks for watching.